Happy Monday, sleeping EV family. Welcome back. As you can see from the screen, we have some packages. We have a ton of packages to get through. Um, we actually have seven packages. Insane, I know. I knew I was gonna get a ton of mail. I might get some more mail this coming week, so we will see. I might push it off until after Christmas, but we're, we're gonna see. <laughs> so we're gonna get into these packages and also I'm gonna open up some packs that have Evolving Skies too. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen that I found a lot of Evolving Skies at Walmart lately. So stay tuned for more videos throughout the week. I'm gonna be splitting those packs up that I got in, throughout the week to do two videos with Evolving Skies packs. But let's get into these packages and uh, get a little bit of organization here. So this first one, this first one is actually from TCG Player. So I went and got a bunch of Shining Fates Baby Shiny cards on TCG Player. Um, let's see. Right up front, we got this Flapple. And I got 10 of them from one shop. They actually came here pretty good time too. So we have Flapple and Bolton. This is taken a huge chunk down of what I need. And Javi G, thank you so much for tagging me in a bunch of shiny Pokemon that have been popping up on Twitter. That has also helped. I'm actually down to, I think, about nine baby shiny left, plus that Charizard. And then this is a really cool sleeve. We got Hatterene, uh, Beriscuta, Galarian Darumaka, and I think he sent me one that I'll also show you. Galarian Farfetch'd, Stone Journer, Colossal, Dreepy, and the Galarian Rapidash. And I know Javi's probably watching. It's like, why did I get a Galarian Rapidash? Well, I thought I had a duplicate of it. It was my only one. So I went ahead and just got another Galarian Rapidash. So it was not a big deal. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I knew uh, he is trying to complete his Shining Fates collection as well. He's really close. So I wanted to see him complete it as well. Okay. So this one we got from Twitter user, I think it's just E. That Twitter handle will pop up right now. This one, Javi actually sent me, bought for me and had it sent to me. So I'm really thankful for that. He absolutely did not have to do that. And it just blows me away. He was tagging me and stuff and I, I appreciate it so, so, so much. You have no idea, <laughs> it's really, really helped. And he actually sent me the Galarian Darmanitan, but it actually goes pretty well with our Darumaka. So I'll get to add that in the uh, collection as well. Okay, so let's see the next one. We're gonna continue on <laughs> with that. And this is from uh, Javi G himself. And he actually sent, put these away. He actually sent me some common cards. And they're the ones that I had mentioned when I was opening up Darkness of Blaze. Funny enough, I had, I think you guys, if you follow him on Twitter, you may have seen where I sent him Glaring Rapidash Shiny, as well as, I think it was some reverse hollows that he needed for his set too. But again, go follow him on Twitter. He's awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> He's tagged me in a couple of posts for gold uh, Arceus cards. And I was, one of those should be shipped and I should be getting one of those soon. So we have, let's see, there's a few cards in here. We have the Galarian Darumaka, Galarian Dermanitan, and a reverse hollow Darumaka. That's super cute. That's really, really cute. There must be an older one. Yeah, that's from the Sun and Moon era, I believe. I've never seen that one, so that's cute. And then, of course, this is the card I was talking about when we were opening up uh, Darkness Ablaze, the one that was hilarious. And he didn't have a reverse hollow, but that was fine. It was, it was Galarian Darmanitan, but the Galarian Darmanitan snowman form. I mean, this is hilarious. So we have the full lineup here, and that's awesome. We have all these 
Galarian, Darmaka, and Darmanitan cards. So these will go in the personal binder because they're adorable. <laughs> and the really, really flaming snowman one. The Galarian Darmanitan Zen form is just hilarious to me. <laughs> it's a flaming snowman. It's just an oxymoron. Just, it's one of my favorite kind of forms because it's so funny looking. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're going on to some more cards that I bought. Again, I appreciate you, Johnny G. <laughs> you have you've been a big help in my collection. I keep trying to help you out too. <laughs> All right, and this is from Pokey Bondo. This next one, and uh, got a few. I think he sent some. Oh, those are holders. So there we are. There is the Leafy Camo Poncho. So we actually got this one. I knew I had it. I knew I went and got, uh, bought it, and then I pulled it. So <laughs> we'll actually just look at it, and we'll put uh, that one in the binder or the other one I pulled. Can't remember, but I'll probably pull it, put these in there. And the Smeargle as well, which I ended up pulling as well. I think in the same video, which is funny. <laughs> it's very funny whenever I go in and purchase these cards, these singles, and then I just pull them. I've had such good luck with Silver Tempest. I've tried to not buy a bunch of singles, and I think I've bought very few, but this is so funny that I got these, and I traded for some that I actually bought two. Uh, I ended up pulling two. Um, we got Zusu, Rainbow Zusu, and then V-Guard Energy, which is also Silver Tempest, and I have not pulled this one, so that's awesome. <laughs> I think I'm lacking one gold card if I'm not mistaken. So that works. <laughs> I think it's the energy switcher that I lack now. Okay. This one is actually from Makari. So I do get cards from Makari. I'm a bit more critical about it because there's fees and such. So I kind of wait for a good deal to come up. And this is actually a pretty good deal. So this is a Rainbow Serena. And the Dur <laughs> the Duraludon V Max. I laugh because I've seen this one pulled a lot uh, on Twitter, and it's like it was a, a curse. So I, that's why I laugh. Uh, Serena Rainbow and the Duraludon V Max Trainer Gallery. These are two really amazing cards, and believe I got these. I think it was total of thirty. I'll go back and look for sure. I think that's like the total price I paid, like shipping and everything, which is actually pretty good because I think this one is still in the range of 15 or so alone, and this one might be around 15, maybe more. So it's actually MSRP, not MSRP, or market price, if not a little bit lower. So I thought it was pretty good for Makari at least, and I was happy to pick those up. Now those are Silver and Tempest cards as well. And then these last two are actually going to be trades. So I was glad uh, Hiker Anthony finally got his. I think I got his, I think a day before. So this is from Hiker Anthony. I love the little drawing. <laughs> All right, and I traded, I think a couple of cards to him. Oh, I can't remember now. I had posted up some rainbow and some gold cards. Oh, they were energies, now I remember. They were gold energies I had pulled here on the channel. And I don't collect the energies at all, um, unless they're part of a master set, so I was happy to trade them. And we did a trade for Delphox V, Magnezone V, and I know I'm gonna lay these on top, I'm gonna have a big pile of cards to put away later. <laughs> Magnezone V, Luxray V, and Origin Born Palkia V Star Gold, which I need for Astral Radiance. Those gold cards in Astral Radiance are pretty hard to pull. I haven't pulled those. I've pulled alternate arts, but I have pulled no golds from <laughs> Astral Radiance. Don't believe so. If I have, maybe it's in Path to the Peak. Maybe that's the only one but haven't pulled any of the gold Pokemon. So that was awesome. I didn't think I had Luxray. I'm gonna check 
but that's okay if it's a duplicate i can always use it to trade later on so thank you hiker anthony for that wonderful trade <laughs> and the last one that is also a trade um i forgot the username but like i said i will have twitter usernames popped up below this one i traded again another one of the gold cards or the rainbows <laughs> So we have the Lucario, I believe this is a promo. If not, it's a, it's one of those from the, um, oh, what is it? One of the battle boxes that have a couple of packs in them. They had Cosmic Eclipse in them, I think for a while. I cannot remember, but I know the current ones have like Toxtricity, Galarian Farfetch as cards they're not promos but they have a hollow foil pattern which is what this lucario has so that's what this one is lucario is just one of my favorite pokemon and i really like this card and you see mega alakazam in the background so that's cool too as well as this olina rainbow rare a rainbow i've never pulled and i just think is really cool it's from rebel clash i believe and i've pulled some rainbows from rebel clash just not this one, so I'm happy to add it with uh, the other rainbow that I have from Rebel Clash. That's a trainer. Uh, Sonya was the one I pulled. So this is really cool. I do like some of the rainbows because they have this fantastic texture on them. And usually there's some choice ones from the earlier Sword and Shield era sets that I will keep. <laughs> of course, there's all the ultimate arts in the second year, and I'm mastering the sets this year so but there are some cards that I still would like from that first year of Sword and Shield and that one is one I did not realize that was pretty cool so I love rainbow trainers full art trainers I'm happy to trade for those and we still have cards to open I have some Evolving Skies and some other packs to open out of again a Pikachu V-Box and a Hisuian Samurai V10 so get ready for those. <laughs> After all this, we still have that to do. And I will start with the Pikachu V-Box. See if we can get something out of there to add to the massive pile of cards. So this will be a little bit longer than it would be. But let's see, let's see see what we can add if we can add anything <laughs> and this is brilliant stars professor's research i actually think i need that reverse hollow so that was a good pack for me next one we have another brilliant stars i think java g is also setting aside some reverse hollows for me for Brilliant Stars as well. I'm getting really, really close to finishing that master set and it feels so good to have one of the modern sets almost done for this year. Star Raptor, I set that one aside too, and the Barrel Hollow. Okay, now we get into Evolving Skies. All right, let's see. We can get a nice pull out of Evolving Skies. Or if it's going to be mean to me like it was last time. Okay. And I also posted up on my channel that my family and I went to Costco for the first time. Never been to Costco. That is an, an experience. <laughs> we were able to find some of the cards there. So that was pretty cool. I was hoping to find the pops, like the Evolution pops there, because it was a four pack that was for $10, which is an insane price, because that is a price that's less than one of them now, because I think the pops are like 11 or $12. They increased the price on those. But yeah, I just, ooh, another hollow, a Dragon. So two hollows out of that Pikachu box. That's all right. <laughs> all right, we're getting to the tin too. But couldn't find those pops there. Did find some other cards though. I think they'll be saved for some Christmas magic. 
All right. Next pack, this one is Astral Radiance. Let's see if we can pull something really cool out of here. I think I still need a few of the Trainer Gallery cards as well. Hoot hoot. And we got a Trainer Gallery card. Bronzong into a Hisuian Lilligant. This one is one of my favorite artworks too. I forgot this one was in Astral Radiance. Just a very simplistic, like, straight line design. Looks very cool for one that's very simple. In a different way from the hoot hoot. But like the straight lines, looks very awesome. Kind of like sketch. I like it, it very, looks very much hand drawn. So I like the sketch to it. Okay, another Astral Radiance. Okay. All right. So I'm really thankful for those who have stuck around this long. <laughs> I know you're eager for me to get to some Evolving Skies packs, but I enjoy showing off the mail and uh, giving a big vouch and big credit to people who double Rapidash, who I get cards from and show how they're reliable and people that I like to connect with, connect with in the community. Hopefully you guys enjoy my Mailbag Monday videos as well. <laughs> All right, we got Brilliant Stars. And I think, now I think I lack one card out of here. I think I found a Gold Arceus, so that's one of the ones I think I'm gonna be seeing in the mail soon. We'll see if we can get the other one. Zamazenta V full art. That's a nice full art. The other one I'm missing is the Arceus full art. But Zamazenta V. That's a really pretty full art. That's an awesome hit. Not sure if anybody still needs Brilliant Stars cards, but definitely one to trade. Okay, and we will set the Wormadam aside. The Reverse Hollow Wormadam. See if I need it for the master set as well. All right, now we got our two Evolving Skies packs. Okay, let's see if we can get something out of here. And I'm hoping that maybe the packs I picked out at Walmart that you guys will see later this week have something good as well. But like I said, this reprint has been a little bit rough. I'm quite envious of people who've been able to pull alter arts out of the reprint. Haven't had that good of luck. <laughs> Rough lit, and I'll continue to not have that good of luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, last pack. It is an Umbreon. Can we get Umbreon out of the Umbreon pack? Hit that like button for some last pack magic. Goodness. <laughs> because again, it would be very poetic if I got the Umbreon out of the Umbreon pack. But let's see what we can pull out of here. <laughs> okay. May end up having to trade for it, which of course is what I'm doing right now with my trade up challenge. Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Toy Catcher. No. So far, striking out on Evolving Skies. Not even a V pull. We did get one hollow. That was it out of the uh, packs I opened, but no ultra rare pull. So that stinks. <laughs> Man, I'm hoping those packs I have for the rest of this week will have some luck. You guys will have to stay tuned to watch those because you don't want to miss if I've pulled something amazing out there. And again, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.